Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Super Toy Cars Off-Road. Uh, this game is $19.99 on Xbox, it is developed and published by Eclipse Games, and it releases on February 18th of 2022. So this is a standard arcade racing game, um, and this particular game, you have lots of different options when it comes to the racetracks and vehicles and types of races and everything like that. Uh, you got anything from destruction races, to just regular races, to even some, like, demolition races and things of that nature, which are fun, um, especially in these style of games. Uh, overall, the game is pretty standard when it comes to the quality of, or the type of racing game that it is. You know, it's pretty much what you're going to get in a lot of different uh, arcade racing games, especially that have off-road uh, things. And, you know, it's like playing with toy cars is kind of the idea here, so... Um, this game is also the sequel to two other games in the series, um, and I actually find that this game is a little un more unpolished than the older ones, which is a bit of a disappointment because I actually do enjoy these kind of games, uh, but this one's a little bit less polished than the other. There's lots of glitches and bugs uh, that they really should try to get fixed and pulled out. As you can see, like I'm stuck in this thing right now. Alright, there we go. Um, so there's a lot of little bugs that, you know, especially at the beginning of races, they really mess with the aesthetic of just trying to play the game and be successful at it. Um, you know, it's not the hardest game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just got a lot of, it's got some bugs that have, that kind of, at some points, really just irritated me enough where I stopped playing it for a little while. And that's always something you want to try to avoid when you're making a quality game, is you want to you want to have a game that's engaging enough with the people that are playing it, so that they feel like they want to continue to play it. Unfortunately, this game does sort of miss on that a little bit. I thoroughly enjoyed the one of the other uh, the Super, Arcade, or Super Toy Cars 2 game, and I played that straight through, I believe. And this one I've found myself several times actually stopping because it's just uh, some of the bugs in certain races are so messy. Um, also, like the way that the scoring and stuff in the races also, and time and stuff also work, is a little buggy and weird and sometimes doesn't work correctly like there's been several races where i got first place but the game thought that i didn't and so yeah just weird stuff like that happens uh this stuff is stuff that should be easily uh correctable uh but i don't you know hopefully they do correct it and make it a little bit more polished um overall for the price tag of 19.99 i think that's a little bit expensive for what this is Unfortunately, I had a little higher expectation for the quality here because I enjoyed the uh, one of the other games that they've made, but I feel like that they didn't really polish this game up enough. And so just keep that in mind if you do pick it up. Uh, I definitely would say I'd recommend picking it up if it's under, if it's on sale at some point in the future, uh, potentially, but uh, only if you're really into these type of games. But unfortunately, like as I am uh, somebody who really does like these type of games, I've been disappointed by this one overall. And so I can't recommend it for the price tag as it is. Um, for an achievements perspective, it is a pretty easy achievement game. Uh, I have made an achievement guide that should be on the channel by the time this review comes out. And so you can check that out if you want, if you do pick it up. Uh, overall though, the achievements are going to be fairly straightforward. And you're going to get most of them by just playing. And then you can clean up this uh, winner's achievement by just uh, uh, playing these different levels a couple times over. And to finish out the game. So that's pretty much all I have for the review. Uh, if you do pick it up, let us know in the comments what you think of it, and have a nice day, guys.